G'day viewers and welcome to this week's PB's Retro Restorations. This week I'm doing a car that doesn't really need any introduction for us fans of 80s TV shows. Well, we've probably got one of the most famous Dodge Chargers of them all, the General Lee from the TV show and later remake movie The Dukes of Hazard. Now this is another one of Gerard's childhood favourites. This is another one he's asked me to restore for him. I've also had a request from Nathan, one of my other kind contributors to my videos. He's given me a few cars and he said he'd like one as well. So we're going to do a restoration and a customization. So let's get started. Now this is really cool. It's an Ertl brand from 1981 when the TV show was on the telly the first time around. Now Ertl had all the cool licenses like Smokey and the Bandit, Knight Rider, A-Team, uh, The Fall Guy, remember that one? Uh, now the cars weren't always the most accurate in, and they weren't really the best quality sometimes but I still wanted all of them so bad, never got any of them which is a discussion for my therapist and I, I won't punish you loyal viewers with that. But anyway Gerard, we're going to recrown the base, repaint it, I'm going to leave the interior black even though it was tan on the TV show because Renee told me you wanted a factory resto, so factory resto is what we're going to do, I'm going to get it looking like it did in 1981. So let's get the part and get started. And pop all over my desk now the wheels everything just fell out which is good that makes it easy you can see a bit of the chrome what it's supposed to look like anyway so we'll get that sorted out check this interior out yep doesn't even have a dashboard let alone a steering wheel it's no roll cage and of course it's black which is incorrect for the show but that's how it came from the factory it's a product of its time. They've done a good job of the charger seat, so it seems to have the right pattern for them from the factory. But anyway, let's keep moving. Okay, Nathan, time to find a 69 charge to do your customization with. You know, dig into the ye olde box of cars. Now, I know there is a 69 charger in here. What kind of father would I be if my son didn't have one? I know there's at least four in there. Just got to find them. Okay, here we go. Candidate number one. But I'm going to dig out some more so we can make some comparisons and pick a one that suits. Now I found this one, which is a 69 Charger 500, but that's the one with the aerodynamic back and the flush headlights, so that doesn't really work. We've got this one, it's a Maisto brand I believe, but it's all been modified and stylized and looks terrible really, but... So we're not going to be using this one. This is the first one I found in the box. It's a Maisto as well, I believe. It's a pretty crude casting. It's not bad, but it's got no interior. Um, it's very similar to the Ertl casting. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a knockoff of it. But uh, it's the front runner at the moment. But it's a bit sad, it doesn't have any interior. It's a bit basic. Now this is a much later Hot Wheels casting. Uh, it's much more realistic in its proportions and dimensions. It's the earlier version of this casting, so the bonnet still opens on it, which is kind of cool as well. It's got a nice interior, and I think this is the way we're going to go. I'm going to do this one. All right, Nathan, I hope you like it.
Okay, so after the success, or what I thought success, of uh, the Prowler card that I made for Gerard's other car, I thought I'd have another go at doing one for the General Lee. Found an image online of a unopened one, so I removed the car, digitally of course, and cut and paste and fanoodled it and cleaned up the blemishes and generally tried to restore the card. It took me a few goes though. In the end, I was really happy with this one. Just got to put on some card. Now here's the decals I got from the States. Now I think my paint was a bit too light and these decals were a touch too dark. They didn't quite meet up in the middle, which is obviously going to be more my fault than anything. But I was still pleased with how they looked on there. Alright Nathan, I'm putting some custom wheels on yours. Uh, they took some fanoodling and fiddling about to get to fit, but we got there in the end. <laughs> Now it wouldn't be a General Lee without a nudge bar on the front and because Nathan's didn't start out as a General Lee it didn't have one so I made a little tiny one out of some styrene. It's not quite TV show accurate but it'll do the job. Now the carbonator, that's what this car's called because it has a bottle opener for a spoiler, an actual bottle opener that will open bottles. I use one all the time. It's got the biggest blister, the charger will fit in it. Now just put some nail polish remover on here. It'll lift the blister off. It didn't quite come off like that. I've cleaned it up a bit there. Some spray on glue on a nice stiff bit of cardboard. Apply my image. And I'm going to let it dry overnight. Now Mrs. PB has this little corner cutter, makes nice little neat rounded corners just like the original cards had. Thanks Mrs. PB, that came in real handy. You know who you are. Now using some canopy glue here, it'll glue clear, nice and tight, won't deform the plastic and when it dries it will look factory sealed. Okay, so here we are back to the start with Gerard's well-loved original 1981 Ertl Dukes of Hazard Charger. Uh, pretty much no plating left on the base. Uh, the wheels are a bit worn out, the paint's buggered, the decals are pretty much had it. And here is what we're left with now. With its brand new paint, although it could have been a couple of shades dark, it's still shiny, it looks nice, looks the part happy with how it came out. New decals, a re base, cleaned and polished everything. It's looking a million bucks, looking as good as it did in 1981. 
Gerard, I hope you're happy with this one. It was a real pleasure working on it. Thank you. And here's Nathan's with its custom handmade nudge bar, some detail painting on the grill and the taillights, mag wheels, a tan interior. I decided to give myself permission to redo the tan interior, detailed the gas cap. I hope you like it Nathan, I hope it's what you're after. Uh, thank you very much for your donations in the past, I'm sure we're going to see some more of your cars come up on here soon. If you've liked what you've seen and would like to watch some more, why not click on one of these links that have appeared on your screen. If you'd like to subscribe, we're always welcome new subscribers, I appreciate your support. Click on my head. I will see you next week. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!